I'm not even cutting anything. Welcome back. Uh, this is just a short video of uh, how we make our homemade deer jerky. Um, I put this video together pretty quick, so uh, so bear with me, okay? So what my fiance is doing now <laughs> is cutting this into uh, thin slices, but it has a little thickness to it. We don't want to make it too thin because then it will dry out too quick. We're going to smoke this for about six hours. And try to get as much membrane off as possible. This is what we're making the brine with. For some deer jerky. Oh, baby. This is us making the brine. Um, I'm going to leave a picture of the recipe to this brine. I got it off of Joe and Zach Survival. Um, it's great. Um, yeah, you can check them out. That's a, it's a really good uh, uh, channel. You know, we're going to marinate this meat in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. I think this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be good. I was like, <laughs> oh, baby, I forgot to take this out. I took it. There's only one. Yeah. That's going to be yours. Just leave it like this, baby. Put in the bags. Okay. Oh yeah, this does smell really good. <laughs> it does smell really good though. <laughs> Just in the pictures. And that's my daughter being a little camera shy. What my fiance was referring to is what she left on is when you're making this, you want to try to make sure to uh, get all the membrane off of the meat as possible. You can leave it on, but it'll be, um, you know, tough. It's sort of like leaving catfish skin on. So you want to get that off if you want, you know, your jerky to be, you know, uh, you know that uh, tender as well as tough, but not that tough where you're pulling on it like plastic. You don't want that. We're um, smoking this with hickory smoke. Uh, we're gonna keep it keep it at a temperature of 120, and we can't go no higher than that. Okay. Um, this is an electric smoker I got for Christmas. Um, it does a great job. This electric charbroil uh, smoker is excellent. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I had a small issue with maintaining the temperature at 120. So uh, when the wood would heat up, it would heat the, uh, the grill up. So I had to put a stick in the door to prop it open and place a rock up against the door just to maintain the temperature at 120. Um, another small issue I had was uh, the bottom rack seemed to be cooking a bit quicker than the than the rest of the racks, uh, simply because it was closer to the heat. So I'm gonna raise the rack up uh, on the next batch that I make. Everything else worked out great. You like it? Mm-hmm. Is it pretty good? Is it too hot? No. Too spicy? No. Is it just right? Yep. Just right. Just right. Yeah, I'm chilling on a dirt road, laid back, swerving like I'm George Jones. Smoke rolling out the window, and ice cold beer sitting in the console. 